Welcome to the QT Modeler Minimum Hardware Requirements video. There are six hardware components to consider when evaluating a workstation or laptop for QT Modeler use. First, QT Modeler is a standalone application that requires a Windows operating system. QT Modeler will work with any available Windows OS, but 64-bit will enable loading more data and faster processing, so that's what we recommend. Second, and perhaps most important, is the graphics processing unit known as the GPU. QT Modeler requires discrete graphics with OpenGL 3.1 or newer. OpenGL is the graphics processing language. We recommend OpenGL 3.3 or higher running on an NVIDIA or ATI GPU. If 3D display output is required, quad buffered stereo is also required. Third is system memory, also known as RAM. QT Modeler will load 3D data into memory prior to display, so having more RAM means you can load more data. We recommend a minimum of four gigabytes, but encourage users to configure their systems with as much RAM as possible. Fourth is storage. While there is no hard requirement, QT Modeler will write temp files to the hard drive during processing and exploitation, so we recommend a bare minimum of 10 gigabytes and prefer to see 100 gigabytes or more. Fifth is CPU. Any modern CPU will suffice, but multi-core fast processors will speed processor intensive tasks and take advantage of the multi-threaded functions that exist in QT Modeler. Lastly is display. Any modern display will work, but a full HD display makes the whole user experience much better. Many laptops are configured with switchable graphics. This means the laptop includes two GPUs, an Intel integrated GPU as well as an NVIDIA or ATI discrete GPU. The laptop default setting is likely to use the integrated GPU because the integrated GPU consumes less power. Switchable graphics work fine with QT Modeler, but users need to ensure that QT Modeler uses the discrete graphics processor often referred to as the high performance GPU and laptop configuration setting. This brief video of QT Modeler in action shows a point cloud with an overlaid image draped on top of it. The loaded point cloud is consuming system RAM. The loaded image is consuming video memory. The GPU is responsible for the smooth rendering and a high resolution display enhances the user experience. QT Modeler's help menu assists the user in determining the workstation GPU and OpenGL version number. In addition, Users can configure OpenGL settings. This can be very useful on laptops which only have an integrated GPU. Although not ideal, QT Modeler will actually function with an integrated GPU, especially some of the newer Intel chips, such as the HD4000 and newer. Some advanced OpenGL functionality may need to be configured to support these integrated GPUs. This has been an overview of QT Modeler's hardware and system requirements. If you have any questions or need help, please give us a call or email us. We'd love to hear from you.